Okay, guys, I want to make a quick video. You see this magnet here? Um, a lot of people don't realize why core material is so important. Core material does not saturate uh, properly grain oriented. For instance, I just wanted to show you this um, this hairpin here. Now, if I if I magnetize that for like one second, okay, I, I magnetized it. It's magnetized, I guess, and I'll set it down over here. Now, watch what happens with this little piece of coat hanger wire. Watch how it see it pick it right up. It'll pick that right up. And that'll be magnetic for days. Now, now that I've put that magnet to that, it'll it'll have some residual magnetism. Right there. See how I had to jerk that? Now these I've been magnetizing for hours. Here's one right here. I put this to it, just like I did the other one. This is core material. Now watch me pick it up. It won't pick it up at all. No matter how long I leave these, this grain-oriented core material on a magnet, within seconds it's demagnetized. I can't pick that pin up. See that pin? So it's very important that you have a core material that's not just steel. Um, even chunks of steel, you know, chunks of iron and whatever put in epoxy is a gray area to me. Um, it doesn't seem like it would work as good as the scientifically engineered core material. Now, other than that, I would say that you would have to go to the tape. Uh, if you want to recreate a, um, a, you know, a truly engineered, uh, specialized, core material, you've got to stay with the science. You can't just take a chunk of iron or grit or iron dust and shove it all into some uh, epoxy. You're going to get random trash is what you're going to get. And I guess some people have done it, but um, it's important that you um, you have good material. Now that here's that um, that little coat hanger wire again. So I magnetized that like you would a screwdriver. This soft steel, it just saturates and lines up instantly and it's always magnetic. You don't want that for a core material. You want the scientifically engineered stuff which is done through metallurgy. It's done, you know, at a high temperature melting. It's mixed with uh, silicon it's mixed with sand and broken up the iron is broken up my thoughts are that you have to get some either nano crystalline or some tape you know that's about this wide and roll it up like you do a um, videotape looks like videotape but it's more metallic and you glue it together it's real thin strips you can make any shape you want like this one here this one that I'm working on I added this thick bar so when where I um, am winding I'm undecided whether or not I need to go on both sides of it with half on each side I'm just gonna do it this way probably and I'm fashioning my bobbin um, so I have some circles I'm cutting and they'll go in here so that I can uh, so I can get this wire on it but it's important that you you notice how uh, it's it's important that you get a material that doesn't just saturate like crazy now here's a nail here's here's a nail I can put this nail on the magnet for a second take it off and you got to be careful with your test because now there's there's um, a nail instantly it's magnetized it'll just stay there 
but this other material it won't do that um, let's see if this one will I had it on there all night see there it works that one works is magnetized a little and that was on there all night right there but of course you don't want to do that but this this and I just took it off and I magnetized it for hours it's got to be just right though and it don't have much pulling power and I just pulled it off to see and 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 I'll come back in 15 20 minutes cuz I just pulled it off of that one and there won't be any magnetism at all in this but this other stuff it just it just wants to stay there it just wants like a nail soft steel it's out of the question just any iron 